Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you want to see how I got this very easy, simple, spring, timey, pink, peach, whatever you want to call it, look, please keep on watching. Okay, I'll actually, I'll move to the tutorial now. We're gonna start in here on the eyes. I've already primed them and put tape down so they're ready to go. Today I will be using two of my Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes, the Holiday Collection 2016 one and the burgundy one, mostly the burgundy one. So from the 2016 palette, I'm gonna go in with the shade, oh, it's rubbed off. I think, it's, I think it says chestnut, I believe is what that's called. I'm just gonna take a flat shader brush and set my primer with that. So that matte shade was pretty much the only shade I needed from that palette, but I will be using the mirror because the burgundy one does not have one. Um, so this is going to be a really simple look. It's going to take two more eyeshadow colors, basically two or three. Um, so I'm going to take the shade Penny from the burgundy palette. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow colors of all time. It is beautiful and it's unique. So I'm just going to start in the crease and blend it out and then I'm going to put it all over my lid. Okay, next I want to deepen up the outer corners just a little bit, so I'm going to stay in the Kylie Burgundy palette and I'm going to use this shade Almond right here. To give this look a little pop of color and sparkle, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Arrow. <laughs> Mine came broken and just fell out onto my chair. Still going to use it though because I am not wasteful. I got a little messy with the application there, but that is okay. I still have my face makeup to do and that will cover all of my mistakes. Um, I'm going to throw on some false eyelashes and eyebrows and then I will be right back. I am so tired that I had to do my brows and lashes in my bed. <laughs> Moving to the face makeup, I'm going to start by priming my face naturally. I'm going to use a silicone based primer for my nose because it is a oily mess. So I'm going to use the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Oil Free Blah 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 Primer. So next I'm going to move on to a little bit fancier of a primer. I'm going to use the Becca, was it the Backlight Priming Filter? Yes, Backlight Priming Filter from Becca Cosmetics. I'm going to put that everywhere else. For foundation today, I'll be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Snow, which I do believe is the lightest shade they offer, naturally. Alright, good enough. Um, I'm gonna set this today because I'm feeling a little greasy, so let's use my NYX HD Finishing Powder. I'm gonna take this Real Techniques brush. All my brushes, like, have hair on them. Like, what the hell? It's like someone dropped my brush container on the floor or something, because they all have, like, fuzzies on them. And I know it wasn't me. Now it's gone for the weekend, and I've come back and some of my stuff was broken. Some people decided to sleep in my room, so I'm thinking my brushes got into a little accident while I was gone. Next, I'm going to bronze my face up a little bit, um, give it some color. I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm just going to put this everywhere. Thank you. 
Next, I'm going to contour, hollow out the cheekbones a little bit. I'm going to use my go-to e.l.f. contour palette. I'm going to use the darkest shade right here. And we'll just deepen that up a little bit. I'm going to use my NYX. Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. I'm going to go in and use the shade, this pinky shade right here. And just swipe that onto my cheekbones. Okay. Now I'm going to highlight and I'm going to use, um, I kind of want to do an intense highlight, so I'm going to use a cream and a powder. I'm going to first go in and use the ColourPop highlighter in Lunch Money. I'm going to put that on the top of my cheekbones to give a nice cream base for the powder to stick to. This is of course beautiful on its own and I wear it on its own all the time but it's also really great to layer for a very dramatic highlight. So for the powder highlight I'm going to use the Urban Decay After Afterglow Highlighter in the shade Sin. I don't know if anyone else remembers when all of the YouTubers this past summer were obsessed with it. Ooh, yeah. Like layering that together just makes a very intense bronze, not bronzy, but intense glow. I can't think of a color to describe it. Okay. Cool. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and do Cupid's bow and just a little bit on the nose. Just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go back in and finish up my eyes. I need my Kylie palette. Where did I put that? Alright, I'm going to smudge in some shadow on my lower lash line. I'm going to use a combination of Penny and... What was that? Brick. Oh, I definitely called it almond earlier. It's Brick, actually. So I'm going to mix that together and smudge that on my lower lash line. Okay, so that's all smudged in and done. I just realized I did not put concealer on, but I don't care. I'm not going to put any on. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that right now. I'm just going to use the Sin highlighter for my inner eye, eye highlight again. Alright, that's it for the eyes. I probably should have put some mascara on my lower lash line, but I don't want to. don't feel like day out mascara that ew, that tasted gross. I don't feel like digging out mascara right now. Uh, I'm just gonna put on some lipstick and then we'll be done. I'm going to use one of the Wet n Wild liquid cat suit lipsticks and this is in the shade Nudist Peach. Okay, well that's it for this look. It's a very, I'll zoom you in here a little bit. It's a very simple, pinky, peachy, springtime look. Um, yeah, this is pretty much my go-to if I wear makeup to work, which is very rare, or anything like that if I wanted to do makeup in a hurry. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of mess of a video and mess of a makeup look but that's okay not everyone can be perfect <laughs> not everyone can be one of those gurus who have big studios and perfect lighting and endless amounts of makeup so yeah have a great rest of your day and please like and subscribe if you wish thank you that's the bulk of the eye look it's pretty <coughs>